The application has a number of routines to help the user when migrating to central accounting from another application, which we'll call the legacy application. The import of customer and supplier records and the setup of account open balances are dealt with in separate video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we're dealing with the import of stock items. We recommend that this is done in three steps. 1. Export the stock records from the legacy system as a CSV file. This can normally be opened in any proprietary spreadsheet application, as you can see here, and to organize the data into appropriate columns and the column headings, as you see here. It is important to ensure that the correct data, once exported, is in the correct column, as this will determine where it goes in the supplier record when imported into central accounting. Details of what these columns and data represent are set out in the video tutorials relating to stock and order item creation and editing. There is one video tutorial for each stock type. Step 2. Once the user is satisfied with the data in the CSV file, the items are imported. Check this box to indicate that this file does have a header row. Then click the browser button to locate the file to be imported. Choose and open the file, the location of which is then displayed in this CSV file import box, then click Import. The records being imported are additional to anything that is already on file in the application. Care must be taken to ensure that duplicates are not imported. Step 3 is to edit the imported records. For manufactured items, as here, it might be necessary to complete the setup of the manufacturing bill of materials and resource listing, which might not be part of the import procedure, but simply basic details and some supply details that are imported as part of this routine.